And we're back again. Bominos. The lovely feeling of 2030. Come on, it's time to go. Yeah, it's weird. 2030 is actually five. But you know what's funny about this whole thing about 924? Because, you know, everybody says that something's going to happen on the 24th. Of this month? Yeah. Oh. It's all over TikTok. Everybody says it's viral. That it's so viral that there's actually fact checkers on the internet, which you already know all the fact checkers are fat checkers. People are always trying to check everybody, but this isn't checkers, it's chess. Well, I'm going to say something in correlation with that before I forget, but because that's how it works for me. It's funny because there's also another video, here's the rabbit trail of my brain, that reminds me that there's a video also of Fauci in the Senate being interviewed by one of the senators. And in the in the, the Senate asked him, actually played the video on the screen of him saying this. And then the Senate asked him, Senator asked him, so are you saying today that that's not true and the best form of vaccination is to get all these booster shots and vaccines? And then he pulls out a piece of paper. This is all, you know, the Senate is all recorded live. So you can't fake that stuff. So he's sitting there and he pulls up a piece of paper from Routers, Router, uh, from uh, Routers, Routers, Router, Router. <laughs> yeah, Routers. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. And he says, the fact checker said we, I was right. And the senator's just looking at him like, you're right there. We're actually hearing you and watching you and you're sitting right in front of us. Why do we need a fact checker? You said on the video that if you have got the va- if you got the virus and you got contaminated, that's the best form of vaccination there is, is you catching the disease. But now you're saying the best form of vaccination is getting all these vaccines and boosters. I think he's been contacted. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That I'm just trying to prove the point that these fact checkers are clearly in cahoots. With whoever's paying them the most money. So all these people out here saying, oh, yeah, well, fact checkers already bunked this. It's like, yeah, just like with Fauci. They've already bunked it all, folks. It's like he can't even be honest, and he's looking at his own face on the screen. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, at some point, you know, I, I got vaccinated. I got I got vaxxed and waxed and all kinds of things. But I, I just, I have a hard time when people aren't being consistent. It's like when they contradict themselves. It's like, yes, no, yes, no. It's like, well, which is it? <clears throat> but it's yeah, just it's, it's just hard because it's one thing to lie in front of a, like, <clears throat> you're in front of a news video and you're just lying to propagate your business. All right, you know, CEOs probably do that every day. It's another thing when you're lying in front of the Congress and then it's the next level is that you're lying in front of the Congress to milk the public. It's not just lying until you can protect your business. It's now because we want the public to continually getting vaccinated, knowing that that's probably not the best means. And guess what? You said it yourself. It came out of your own mouth. And now you can't admit that. That That's just, that's that next level stuff. That guy's geeked. But anyways, the whole reason I said all that <laughs> was to go back to the point <laughs> that the fact checkers are out there saying that. 924 2022 has got nothing to do with anything. We don't know. It's going so viral that that's why the fact checkers had to come out and say debunk all this. But the reason why is you got nine. 24 equals six. 2022 is six. Turn the nine upside down and you got six, six, six. Nine, 24, 2022. Let me see your hand. My hands are clean. Are they? (laughs) <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're clean from writing. I feel like Fauci made similar cl- claims. Um, so what are you saying here with 666? Are you saying some kind of um, the mark of the Balfamet? No, I, I'm not, I don't really get into all that. I'm just saying because, you know, the elites like to play with Masonic numerology. And is it because it's just an easy way to deceive the masses because people believe in certain... It's easy to systematic to make people's brains think systematically when you correlate identities or icons with an idea of an event. And then you can say, oh, because like 9-11 has that double play of an emergency plus a date plus a. Anyways, these double plays is what 
these elites like to do because it makes it's easy to train people. It's myopic. Well, it trains people. I feel like Fauci is one of those people. No, he's he's actually retiring because he's been milking it for fifty years. Fifty years of lies. So does he milk it dry or what? Well, I think he did actually on this <laughs> one. I think there isn't a bigger payout than what happened with the world being forced to get vaccines, and he gets a cut. I think that's probably the biggest milk you can get. You know, for Halloween, I'm actually going to wear a mask. You should just wear Fauci. I wish I had an outfit. With I him. bet you you could someplace. Yeah. I know there's somebody out there who's making it. I just don't want to use my energy for that. But yeah, I mean, if they if they sell it somewhere, I'll buy it. I just don't want to make one myself. Oh yeah, I wouldn't make one, but I'm sure somebody out there is making it. <laughs> and if not, somebody out there make it because I guarantee you, there's plenty of people who would buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, le- legitimately, if you know how to make masks, unless you know Fauci's, you know Fauci could be trademarked. <laughs> Yeah, you could. I mean, honestly, I would wear Fauci's face, and I'd have a needle sticking out of my arm, and it would say the vaccine. Excellent. And no, nobody could say anything, I mean, two things about it. Well, anyways, getting back to my point, there is something weird going on with this whole 9-24-2022. 9 Two four, which is six. Well, what, what, Twenty twenty two, which what, is six. What is everybody trying to say that's happening? Well, there's all kinds. Of, like nobody really knows. They something started two weeks ago. I started seeing this about two weeks ago, and my mind started thinking, who in the world's pushing this out? That's the real thing. And then not only who's pushing, because somebody's got to get paid to be propagating all this for everybody to be buying this. And then everybody's regurgitating the same data. Nine twenty four, twenty twenty two, six six six. It, it's the straight CERN stuff. How you know how the logo is like a nine with a six, but you turn it upside down, the yeah. Google sign, all yeah. that jive. <clears throat> so somebody is getting paid good. And it's all over TikTok. It's all over Instagram. It's all over YouTube, Facebook. Well, I saw a bunch of lightning the other day in the oh, sky. Oh, there was one thing. There was some po- politician somewhere saying, oh, yeah, there was a, some politician somewhere saying, I think in Germany, that this will be a day that you will not forget. And that's what made it have some validity. There's some politician in Germany saying, this will be a day that you will not forget. Yeah. They've been saying stuff like that Yeah, I know, but who's coming out specifically on 9-24-2022? Yeah, I, I never want to forget a day. That'd be, I, I'm, I've been waiting to not forget a day. I mean, I, I have a hard time remembering the Titans. But if the 2024... Is, is it 20, uh, nine, two, 2024. 9 24. 2022. Uh, yeah. 9 <laughs> nine it's, it's, 24. It's a tongue twister. If that's the day that I die, then I'm not going to remember it anyway. I don't think you're going to die. I, I, if you can't remember, yeah, that's like, an, that's like a paradox. It's like it's going to be the biggest day you're going to remember, <laughs> but you're not going to be alive to remember it. I'm going to listen to that song. This will be the day that I die. Yeah. Kind of like uh, Michael Scott was like, my horn can touch the sky. Yeah, everybody thinks it's the Illuminati. No, it's actually the Crouching Tiger. Mm, Bruce Lee. Uh, are you you into martial arts? No, I'm I'm just into arts. You ever did, you ever flung nunchucks? I'm into martial law sometimes, but uh, no, I've never gotten to play with those. What about ninja stars? I have this feeling yeah. that every kid, and I don't know what happened. But I think every kid, it's not today, of course, everybody now has tablets, they're throwing tablets, but it, it's almost like every kid, like before, like 2005, they all played with ninja stars somehow or another, like they made one or they somehow found the triangle ones. Some people found those six or seven or eight points. I used to make my own. Yeah. It's weird. It's like somehow every kid I talk that's like born later, they've all played with ninja stars. I actually bought one too, one time. Uh, at a gas station. It was actually a, a metal star. Yeah. And I had a lot of fun with yeah, it. but they don't sell it no more. You can't find this stuff anymore. Like, you can find it at novelty places and people who play with swords and things. I was, when I used to work at a cabinet uh, delivery station, um, they also sold a lot of carpet, so I had to pull a lot of carpet, too. A lot of um, trim? Yeah, I had to pull a lot of trim. I was tugging carpet. Um, yeah, we had uh, this big machine. It was a carpet tugger. Um, yeah, it's a, like a power tugger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think it's called a a power stretcher. 
No, not that. It, it doesn't stretch the carpet. It just just tugs it and uh, gets it off the shelf. Um, oh, to get it off the shelf. I was thinking about installing carpet. No, it, you have to um, put this long metal beam through the center, and uh, yeah, you just get the, tar- the the carpet out of there. But yeah, that's interesting. I never thought about how did they get it out because I always thought they just use a forklift. Yeah, that's what it is. Hmm. It's a forklift. Oh, I thought it was, you can tell me some intrinsic process about sticking some kind of pipe in there. No, and you got to do this weird thing. I should have just said forklift, but it's not forks. It's just one beam. Yeah, and it's so it's not technically a forklift. It's a, a but beam you use lift. the forklift. They just detach one of the forks. Yeah, and technically, you know, I mean, forklifts don't lift forks. I mean, it's like one of those. No, I, I think they're just implying the the idea of a fork. Like the design. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But nobody changes the name when it's not. Lip- well, what do you call it? Was that a pitch? Is that a pitch fork? What's the two fork? Like steak a hay fork. Steak like a hay f- fork? No, like a hay fork. You know, the things they use to get hay. Isn't that only have two pongs? Yeah, yeah. I wish Google was here. We could ask. And uh, they're disconnected right now. They started getting too invasive. I know gay horses are always into hay. Hay whore? Gay horses. Hay whore all- lagua? Lagora? No, gay horses. This gay this Wow, they're on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you gotta unplug <laughs> Google. You're gonna interrupt us. Uh, Google's been really invasive lately. I bet. Yeah. They've been doing a lot of things I haven't asked. I was a- I was editing videos and all of a sudden just started talking because one of my videos said Google. It didn't really say hey or nothing. It just said Google something. It's like, oh, yeah. Well, and it just started talking about something. Hey, Google. I like things you do. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Fauci. Hope you guys are liking the show. <laughs> want to welcome everybody back to toilet time. <laughs> this is uh, this is the best place to be where we give you nothing. I was going to say facts, but we actually probably just give you nothing, but enjoy, <laughs> enjoy it. You have to take everything with a grain of sand. In your foot. Yeah. Uh, apparently, but this is actually, this is actual factual information. Actual factual. I like that. Yeah, this is, um, uh, they have discovered a new battery that charges in three minutes and lasts for 20 years. I heard that. I heard, I, I don't know if it was MIT or somebody came out with that. I heard that. And they yeah. actually got the approval to start processing plants to get that moving. And I think they said they're supposed to be available in the next three years. I always thought that people, um, you know, they the government didn't want us to have long lasting batteries because we'd be able to run. Run where? Um, away. Where to like the rabbit hole? <laughs> <laughs> like Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, somewhere. Just run anywhere but where you're at. So the government, if the government Talking chases about like running you, in place? No, like you run things like cardio. Like car D O, like radio? No, like Cardi B, but Cardi O. Playboy instead. Cardi. No. Well, anyways, to add back to your battery thing, I was looking here. It's called. Aiden Energy, which is a spinoff of a Harvard University, and they say, yeah, that it could fully charge in three minutes. It'll last. The battery itself will last 20 years. It's not saying that the charge will last 20 years, <laughs> but yeah, the battery will last 20 years without decaying, and it will charge over one, uh, 10,000 full cycles. Yeah, it sounds like a Duracell battery. Yeah. Shout out to Energizer Bunny. Anyways, it's called Aiden or Aden Energy if people want to look into it, but yeah, apparently it's supposed to be on the market in the next three three years or so, but they have gotten approval to build the factories and start propagating. If they can get that down pack where we can literally charge our cars, and you know, it's not weird. I don't know if you've seen these new phones. Like Some of these phones come out, now they're sold with 100 watt charging blocks, and they have videos of showing it going from zero to 100% in like 10 minutes. You can watch the phone. The actual number of the battery charge goes up while you're watching it. And that's 100 watts. Now, at these charging facilities, they could be running who knows how many watts. And so if they figured out a way to do that, open the floodgate, then theoretically you should be able to charge anything really fast as long as it can hold it. 
And if they could do three minutes, yeah, that's actually faster than filling up your car with a gasoline. Well, you can definitely get super soaked. Like you can be charged up. Well, and that's going to definitely good. give the gasoline cars a run for his money because that's right now the biggest problem. Nobody wants to sit around for 25, 30 minutes. That's what I'm saying. Like, as soon, when, I mean, if I, I don't have a Tesla, but if I did and I got to charge that quick, I'd be charged up and feeling good. Well, yeah, just think about it. everybody would be having no problem driving. I mean, we would literally drive everywhere. But would they be super hammed? <laughs> well, they're going to turn into a big ham if that battery... That's the one thing nobody talks about is that battery explodes. Because I have firsthand experience. A smoked ham. Those, liter, those, li, those uh, lithium batteries, once those two pieces of metal on the inside touch... The nodes. I don't know if they're called cathodes or what. But anyways, when they touch... Though that thing is like a bomb, that thing will burn through everything. You will be double ham, like a racket. Hey, you're gonna be like Christmas ham. Well, I saw the thing; it actually burned a hole through a door. Yeah, I know. Which was the table? Well, it burned a hole right through the screen. Yeah, it was in a phone. Yeah. If that was in your ear, it would have burned a hole through your other ear. Well, that's what happened with that Note Seven that I was talking about in that other episode. It, people would hold the phone, and it literally catch on fire right there on their phone in their hand. And if nobody's ever had an experience with these cell phone batteries, they may just think oh, it's a little fire. If you, if you, I'm telling you, if you see it in real life, that thing is, that thing got power. Like that's not like just a little fire from your lighter. It's actually got some kind of force. It's like a thrust. It is. Yeah, it does. And it is hot. Yeah, it's like you could almost shoot a rocket with that stuff. It's, it's weird because you, it looks innocent. It just looks like a little battery. But that thing, that thing's got some power. That thing will put you in your place. Yeah, that thing make you charged up feeling fine. Yeah, it will. Like you said, that thrust is, it's just too powerful. Yeah. I don't think any man or woman could handle that. Well, it made me nervous. Like, I never wore gloves back in those days until I saw that. I was like, oh, I got, I got to get some gloves. Yeah, you have to. If you're going to hold that kind of thrust in your hand and that kind of momentum and power. You need protection. It, yeah, it's t it's just, you need to get your, your rubber um, well, I didn't use rubber. Well, I guess maybe latex is a form of rubber. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it is or not. There's some kind of chemical compound out there. <laughs> yeah. Once those, like I said, you know, once those nodes touch or those catheters or whatever you said they are, mm -hmm. they, uh, yeah, cathodes. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. It's scary. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'm excited. I don't have an electric car myself, but I'm sure we all will eventually get one one day when they get cheap enough. And if you can get three-minute battery charges, I'm sure it's going to flood everything. I'm just trying to imagine, you know, if that battery does combust, it would just cook everything really fast. Kind of like that phone. It cooked the phone, went through the door, shot everywhere, and then it was done. Like, if that, if a car battery ever went off, ever went off it would just cook everything. And it would all be done. You'd just be like a pile of ashes. Well, I'm it's sure so they hot and so... I'm sure they probably have material wrapping it, maybe Kevlar or some kind of, maybe some NASA yeah. equipment. Yeah, like some kind of uh, tripolthylene. I, I don't have no clue, but I know Kevlar is used for being fire resistant. Yeah, the heat refractors. Anyways, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully it happens soon before Agenda 2030 hits. Yeah, well, speaking of uh, <coughs> fires, um, apparently a woman in Montana... Specifically, Billings, Montana. So for those of you who live in Billings, Montana, um, our prayers are with you. This Apparently, a woman uh, tried to start a, a church on fire downtown Billings. Uh, why is that newsworthy? That's like happens every day in Chicago. Well, not in Billings. So it shows where the demographic is shifting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is like last week. You were talking about sharks getting undetected. And I'm like, what makes that newsworthy? And again, it's like, okay, yeah, nobody wants their property damaged. But vandalism's been happening since the age of cavemen. It's like, why is that newsworthy? Well, like, I, I don't mean to quote one scholar, but he said, that's news to me, Mr. White. Um, and it really is, if it's something you've never heard of. I have heard of vandalism. I've heard of arson. I've heard people burning buildings down. If I remember right, this woman is native. 
So it's like, who? Why? Why does the news people think that this is what we want to know? It's just in the distraction, so you don't know about Agenda Twenty Thirty. It could be, um, or it could be Agenda uh, Twenty. There's a lot of agendas. I'm not even going to go down I mean, the list. Uh, Nine twenty-four. <laughs> Everybody's got yeah. See, that's a, that's another propagation. But see, that itself could just be another delusion. Because when numerology works too perfect. You know that's a premeditated setup, like nine eleven. Now it's too perfect, like it's an emergency, and so. Well, agendas, like you said, are everywhere, and that they're so far. I mean, there's so many now that you can literally buy an agenda at Walmart. Like they have whole whole they, shelf. They sell a, a Jenga. No, <laughs> <laughs> no agendas like uh, in the planner section. They sell little things that actually says agenda on it. Or like a planner or a journal or notebook, you know, they, they sell agendas. Well, I'm just saying everything's perfect. Like 9-11 has two plays. 9-11 has the emergency 9 but 9 plus 11 equals 20, which is telling you that this emergency was going to happen after 2020. This was the new entry into the millennium. And so it's like a double play and it's just to etch this idea of an event in your brain unconsciously. And you know, these are premeditated on purpose. And so people just need to figure out if anything is real or is everything an illusion of Agenda 2030? Because everybody is just trying to mask the idea of Agenda 2030. I feel like everybody's trying to mask the idea of 2019. 12. Mask. 12. Which is 6. 6. 9. To crook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there thinking, when did this happen? Was it like in March? So like three, six, six. <laughs> All these numbers, man. They just fly around. It's like Plato's in my head. And I'm not talking about the dough. I'm talking about the philosopher. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would say that it's like, oh, he's got Plato in his head all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people think uh, yeah. that I've heard all kinds well, of comments. They'd probably say that more about me. It's, it's oh, no. so free. They 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 think I'm on the 900th plume. <laughs> I mean, good. a lot of people say, man, this guy's just thinking way too much about that stuff. Mm. Well, what else you got? Uh, apparently, there are <clears throat> there was a uh, sleepy chicken challenge on TikTok. Sleepy chicken. Yeah. Basically, uh, they were, it's a challenge on TikTok, apparently, where people are cooking their chicken in um, NyQuil. So they're pouring NyQuil over their raw chicken in the pan and cooking it like that. Uh, I don't really know what the effects are, like what they're hoping to accomplish other than getting sleepy from it. Because <clears throat> it still has the doxymonophins in it and stuff. It's got the DXM. Yeah, I don't think you're cooking that up, but you're definitely cooking out the alcohol that's in yeah. there because alcohol cooks out. Well, usually, you know, like when people say I'm cooking in the chicken, they're usually not cooking chicken. Or they're, they're cooking in the kitchen, but they're not cooking chicken. These people are actually cooking chicken in the kitchen. And it blew my mind. You could be cooking chicken, but you have to say you're flipping birds but not the finger. Yeah. See, I've said this many times before. Yeah, you <laughs> Feels like it's redundant. <laughs> yeah, you could literally flip it any way you like. Yeah, but I know these kids aren't doing that. What they're doing is, it's just weird. You know, I, all of us have taken cough syrup at some point, and that is never a pleasurable experience. Nobody really likes the flavor. And they, they do it on purpose so people won't overdose on cough syrup. But now people are cooking yeah, that, That's what I'm saying. It's like, what kind of flavor... Are you going for? Uh, it's like are you you, you want to get your salad tossed or what? It's I, I don't bitter. Understand. Yeah, it's, it's like shout out to Andy Minio. It's like cooking with dandelions or something. Fiverr. That website sucks. Nobody said it was great. <laughs> it's not even good. <laughs> it's it's making freelancers great again. Yeah, it's making America turn into China again. Hey, nobody's um, forcing you to pay five bucks. So doctors are warning against cooking your chicken in the kitchen <clears throat> with NyQuil. Would you try it? Will you participate in this challenge? No. I, I mean, I 
I lived in the South for a little bit too, and I, I'm still not putting syrup on my chicken. I, I like my chicken raw. Yeah, but at least that syrup is palatable. Like you can eat maple syrup. That's supposed to taste good. Yeah, but not on chicken. No, maybe not, but at least you can eat it like straight up. Like if I wanted to put some on my finger and eat it, it's not bitter. It's sweet. It's fine. If you, you know, cough syrup have a certain smell too. Everything about it makes you feel like, you know, you want to throw up. Well, it's it's bitter on your tongue, but it's sweet in your stomach. No, it's just sweet in your brain. If you take enough of it, you hit those plateaus. Yeah. Well, there's six inches from your heart to your brain. No, I think there's a lot more than six inches. <laughs> Somebody's wrong here. I think it's 18 inches. I, I like... Thick chicken. Somebody's measuring really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I like thick chicken. I, I like it dark and I like it thick. And I, I want them to lay it on heavy. Yeah, you know, that reminds me. I used to really like Burger King's uh, uh, ching Chiching, Chiking, Chiking, yeah, Chiking sandwich. The, the king. Yeah. Yeah, chicken, baking, yeah, whatever it's called. That was a big, thick. It was a good chicken sandwich. It competed genuinely with Popeye's chicken sandwich. Then they went to this weird royal chicken, which is basically a glorified, spicy, cheap chicken sandwich patty. No clue what's going on in the marketing. Everybody said the chicken, baking, was a good sandwich. Everybody, that was great. That's weird science. Yeah, it is, because I don't want to ever put uh, anything from Burger King in my mouth. Uh, it just feels like NyQuil stuff. Yeah, but the, that, that chicken sandwich is decent. Yeah, it was decent. Yeah, that whatever they did, that sandwich was yeah. actually decent. Yeah, just like uh, the uh, uh, the uh, pork belly brisket from Arby's, who has the meat. And they really do, too. Like That was my favorite sandwich, but they, they discontinued it because it was making them too much money. And I was like trying to throw my cash at them. I, I was actually going to the bank and getting a bunch of ones. And I was literally throwing my ones at them to give me this meat. And they that meat on the stripper bar. Slap that. They thing. could have. They I I did, man. I hit those hard. Yeah, smoke it. Smoke house. <laughs> yeah. No, the smokehouse brisket sucks. Track house. That thing is like the chicken. Track <clears throat> house. I wish they would trap me in that house and just stuff me. <laughs> get that turkey on <laughs> stuff that thing Arby's though they they really know how to handle a man and I, I've always appreciated that yeah about it's called them. manhandling sure yeah they manhandle us because they manipulate us in trying to get a good sandwich then we go back to try to get another one and then they take away the six, two for six, and now it's two for seven. Then you look for the smokehouse. It's just a bunch of manhandling. <laughs> yes, but I don't believe in any of it except the, the pork belly. Well, I'm just saying it happens every day. Like you and I went there a couple of days ago, and we were trying to get that two for six. And it instantly just flipped. No, we ain't got that. Now it's two for seven. Tomorrow's going to be two for eight. Yeah. And then they're going to bring it back for one for one. Yeah, it's going to be 24 for nine. Yeah, it's two by four. 24 for nine, like 924. Yeah. Maybe that's what's going to happen. They're going to bring him back to Smokehouse. I hope so. You're going to remember this day. Yeah, I would remember that day. Yeah. Yeah, not the Smokehouse day, the 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 pork belly. Yeah. Like I I, I actually want the underbelly of the pork. The underbelly. That the one that like dangles as it's walking, it's like scrubbing on the floor. Yeah. I want that in my sandwich. One of those wild boars. Yeah. Yeah. Those I mean, just look at their ham hocks. Yeah, they'll chase you. That's good. Yeah. Like they got those saber tooth uh I'm teeth. You just eat everything. Face. I think the mafia uses them to eat bones. Yeah, that's okay. As long as we can eat them too. And that's probably why they taste so good. And that's what people were saying about the mosquito video that they didn't like it cuz it's cannibalistic because they're eating mosquitoes that are eating other humans blood. People are always trying to check us, bro. This ain't chess. Yeah. Well, anyways, <clears throat> what else you got on your tab? Scientists uh, blasted plastic and um, with a laser, and they created diamonds, tiny diamonds from doing it, and a new type of water. Wow, that, that's actually a lot of data in that statement. So to clarify, 
I didn't just want to give a title, so I, I was giving more information this time. Oh, that just, I, I hope you got more because that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying, well, well, I, ju- I think I just spilled it. <laughs> hold on. So you're saying that they have now discovered that from plastic, we can create diamonds and water. Yes, in the rough. From plastic, if yes. they shoot it with a laser beam. Yes, they they have to blast it with an ultrasonic laser. Blasting plastic with powerful lasers can create tiny diamonds. See what mm. I tell you. A similar process may occur at high temperatures and pressures found within planets, which could help explain why Uranus and Neptune are so strange. I don't understand that correlation. So blasting plastic can create tiny diamonds, and that's how we can explain why Uranus and Neptune are so strange. See, these articles are just as weird as you. It's like they say these things. It's like, you know, that doesn't explain anything. These guys are putting plastic on blast, and I I think it's great. Plastic needs to be blasted. Because, you know, intrinsically, you want to know how what, what, how, what is this? Are they the same? Di- you want to know specifics, but they don't tell you that. They just want to say, hey, groundbreaking news, breaking news. We can make diamonds out of blasting plastic. And you know what that means. Now we can finally answer why Neptune and Uranus is so strange. Yeah, as if we didn't know. What correlation does that have at all? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I was wondering. Absolutely. Now that you told me that la- now making diamonds from plastic, I get it. That's why Uranus is that Uranus. Absolutely. Well, that that's just, that's why they get paid the big bucks. Yeah, see, that's another one of those statements. Like, that means nothing. It means everything when you're getting six figures a year. It means toilet on you. Actually, when you're getting even five figures a year, it means everything. Well, anyways, at least it's true. I guess that's interesting. I they don't actually tell me any more information any more than you did. So I feel like I guess I I guess something. I can't blame you. They actually told me something more stupid, <laughs> which, which was now we have the answers to why Uranus and, and Neptune are so strange. Well, that's what I was saying. Don't shoot the messenger. It's like, hey guys, we discovered you can make diamonds from plastic, and now we have the answers to planets. Welcome. Yeah. That's simulation confirmed. I mean, I don't think we have to go that far. We already did. Did we? Anyways, that's interesting news. I think that's a good end to our segment, knowing that this whole episode has turned into some wild escapade of title manifestation. And 9-11. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It was a good set, and we'll see you guys in the next one.